Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is December the 8th, 2016. I'm just now getting up, but I need to declare this. Excuse me. Um, I need to declare what uh, uh, transitioned last night, what happened, what transpired. Okay, so last night I'm just going to look at my notes because there's a couple of things I need to share with you that obviously the Lord feels they're important. Um, important that um, perhaps anybody who is watching this will identify with it. And this will be your, um, your confirmation is what he's giving me. Okay, so last night I uh, headed to bed and uh, I had uh, pleaded with the Lord to just show me that I'm doing what he is asking of me precisely. Um, and uh, just to make sure that I'm on the on the right track of everything that he's revealing to me because if you haven't noticed he's he's really put a lot on my plate lately I'm not usually on here this much but there's obviously a reason for it and it's obvious um, and quite frankly it is what he is showing me that the the true church uh, has fallen asleep we need to get back to work guys this isn't an option you weren't chosen to sit out. It's not an option. I'm sorry, but this is just how he's having me phrase it. Okay, so I prayed last night. I asked for confirmation um, that I was uh, literally uh, delivering uh, and declaring the messages that he was giving to me. Uh, immediately I was shown a vision of what appeared to be like a sheet of musical uh, paper. Um, it came from the right side of the of what of the screen of what I was shown and I seen um, the, the verse on it was Jeremiah 11 29 and uh, that reads uh, for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future I then received um, the the um, the um, the realm changed it the whole screen changed and it changed to a vision of a beagle dog uh, he had fetched a bone he gone down a corridor but the bone I knew at the time that I was being shown this vision was not actually a bone it was a scroll and he brings it back towards me and then I received a physical knock a tap on my right shoulder this is awake, this is in bed, this is in prayer. This is a, vi a full-on vision that the Lord gave to me. Up until this time, this is a, a vision, and there's a, a reason why I'm stressing this. Okay, so... Um, okay, let me see here, let me just look at this. Okay, I went to bed. And when I woke up, I had this deep knowing that I'd had a dream. <laughs> it's so weird how he works. It's 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 very uh, intricate, really. I mean, wow. And um, and I remembered uh, glimpses of the Lord's robe, and he was assigning duties. He was. It was like he was giving us a authority, but he was assigning. I don't even know how to explain it. In the dream, I understood that he was uh, assigning uh, us to, to leadership. It, it was, I, I don't know, I, I have to pray on that. Like I said, I just woke up um, just a few moments ago. Okay, so then I, I had written down here, uh, he was making us heads of authority is what I received in my spirit uh, when I woke up. And then as soon as I woke up, of course, I declared, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for, for waking me up to a peaceful day. And I quietly said, Lord, please, please confirm to me that um, I understood the, the dream that you gave to me of you are issuing out um, assignments, li literally assignments of authority. Um, I woke up and the first notification I received was, uh, sister on the wall, Pauline Chang. He has had he has confirmed several things uh, through her um, through her through her uh, prophetic um, messages. And her title was "Pure Church Called to Come Out." Um, 
Oh, wow. My husband just texted me, guys, that there was a big earthquake off of California that just came through. Okay, so uh, the Pure Church uh, called to come out was her title. That was confirmation for me. And then um, when I was preparing to do this, uh, to come forward and speak this, I asked the Lord, I, I prayed very quickly, and I asked the Lord for guidance on a verse that He wanted me to give His watchmen. The watchmen that have perhaps have a lot going on, um, they took a, a back seat to this. Please, I'm pleading with you. This is really important because the Lord is upset. He's upset that His chosen think that they can just take a back seat and, and not come forward. It's not a choice, guys. It's not a choice. You need to clear your minds. You need to be still and know that He is God. And He will summon you. Okay, so this is what He gave me. This is the verse that He gave me for Watchmen. This is a message to you. Okay, uh, Lord help me here. Okay, uh, it is um, Isaiah chapter 62, verses 6 and 7. Okay. I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They shall never hold their peace, nor day nor night. You who make mention of the Lord, do not keep silent and give him no rest till he establishes and till he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. That is the, those are the verses that he took me to immediately. Immediately, guys. We need to get up. We need to stop this slumber, whether it's defiance, whether it's slumber, whether it's laziness. I have no idea. I'm not calling anybody out, but I'm telling you right now that the Lord is pressing on me to say this. Wake up. Wake up. How can we expect to receive word from him as watchmen if we're not even clocking in? Two days ago, he told me that we needed to report for active duty. He means it. Do not test him. Do not test him. However, I do encourage you to seek him directly for this confirmation. Confirm that you are indeed supposed to be on the wall as you were called to do. I love you guys. I'm, I'm sorry that I have to come on here like this, but he's pressing me to do it, and I'm going to do what he says. I think I've proven that. I'm not, I don't care how hard the subject is, I will speak it. I love you guys. God bless you.